Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of our Super Smash Bros. Switch discussion, where Ash Paulson, Rogers Base, and myself discuss what we want to see in the game. Now if you missed part 1, there's a link to it in the description below. So let's hop right back in where we left off at. Alright, um, do you guys have, uh, do you, do you guys have any personal wants or, you know, whether fixes, improvements, or just general desires for, uh, Switch? I mean, there are, there are two things in particular okay. that stick out to me. One is if they are going to make Smash Brothers a platform from here on out and they're going to keep adding DLC, I don't necessarily think they need to keep adding new characters because I think at, at some point it will get ridiculous. Like, we'll have a roster with 80 characters and all these <laughs> yeah. third party and just, it, it'd get ridiculous. But I think it's unbelievable that they haven't really taken advantage of the fact that they could put new costumes in. Because people out there are modding Smash 4 to give, like, amazing costumes to other characters. Like, for example, I was playing with uh, Kobanamani 456 literally this morning, and we were playing with a Sonic mod on Smash 4 where you could play as the Link version of Sonic from Lost World. And, like, <laughs> that's free money for Nintendo. They could easily make, like, a, Mario, a costume for Mario that's his outfit from Mario Maker. They could make, like... I just I, I don't understand why they haven't done this in the past, and I feel like if they do want to have easy DLC and they want to add something to the game that would keep it fresh, just keep making new costumes. You know, give all of these characters new costumes. I think that would be cool. And the second thing is I really want the return of a true break the targets. I want like a real break the targets, board the platforms, like we got back in Smash 64 and in Melee. I loved those two modes. I want to see those make a return. Not like the weird, you know, the target breaking thing that they have in the game right now where you like push the little, uh, what is it? You, you push the bomb or whatever, you kick the bomb and it, it's like target blast. What, is that what it's called? I don't even ever play that mode. So like, oh yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about though. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that. You bring back like classic break the targets where they were like specific to each character. Bring back classic board the platforms. That's like a little extra mode for single player that I think would be really cool to bring back. I think it'd be cool. I, I will say I think they went a little bit overboard with some of the modes in Wii U and maybe 3DS. I mean, I'm, I can't get the two mixed up even now. Uh, in that, a lot of the extra modes like weren't that great to me. Whereas I do like those classic modes you just touched yeah. on. Yeah. Um, so I think it'd be cool to bring to bring those back. I think extrapolating from that, do you think this might be a good time for them to offer a? like a more complete single player experience you know they had with brawl they went all or tried to go all out with uh, some face <laughs> emissary uh and they, they didn't even attempt to do that again with smash 4 i mean isn't that kind of a good thing so I no I no I actually I will vehemently defend to the death subspace emissary <laughs> really I, wow yes, okay. I, I hate brawl brawl is my all-time least favorite smash brothers game I think there's a lot of things wrong with it in terms of balance. They did a lot of things wrong with that game. One thing that game got right was Subspace Air Emissary. I remember playing through that for the first time the day that game came out, unlocking all the characters really easily by playing a fun single player mode and seeing these cool cutscenes with all of these unique CG characters interacting together for the first time in an actual story. I genuinely loved that, and I would love to see that come back. However, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, I don't think it's going to be happening, Andre, because Sakurai specifically went on record saying in the development of Smash 4 that the reason there wasn't a subspace emissary mode this time around was yeah, exactly because people yeah. were <laughs> uploading all of the cutscenes that he wanted people to see as rewards to YouTube. Because of people. I like agree. Us. I think it's so <laughs> stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's your fault. It's your fault, game explained. <laughs> Well, not only that, but but you know, especially with you know HD development, you know, and and high end console development, that would be a massive undertaking for oh, someone yeah. who probably doesn't want to do that anymore. As we were saying, like he probably wants to do the minimum work that he needs to do to you know add some new content to the game for the for the Switch version and then move on to whatever new game he wants to make. Because I, I don't think he wants to make a new single player adventure from the ground up. That's just my guess. Yeah, I I do think like. It would be so cool, though, to see, like, a single-player mode, these gorgeous HD cutscenes, and you'd have, like, Cloud running alongside Bayonetta, and they're traversing a Fire Emblem map, and then they meet up with Marth, <laughs> and, like, then out of nowhere, the villager comes up and stabs a guy in the back with his axe, and he does the little weird face, like, oh, it'd be so good! It'd be so good! I'd love to see that. I, I totally agree with you. Like, for as flawed as Subspace Emissary was, and for me, I thought it was very flawed. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think it was particularly great. I loved the idea of it, and I loved that it was there. Just because, right now, with Smash Brothers, with the core gameplay, what you're getting is all these characters essentially existing in a vacuum. None of them interact with each other in, in unique ways. Like Mario True. interacts with Link or Cloud the exact way he would inter interact with anyone else. Whereas with Subspace Emissary, you did get that unique character interaction, mm. which you haven't gotten anywhere else. And so I do feel like it's a missed opportunity with Smash, where we're not seeing any of this unique interaction. Like, how, I mean, having Mario with, you know, alongside Cloud is a huge deal, but the fact that the characters don't 
act like it at all or know it, I feel like it's kind of like a, a missed opportunity for sure. I mean, could you yeah. imagine if we had like a classic platform side-scrolling little level, just a little brief one in like a Subspace Emissary 2.0 for Smash Switch, and it's like a classic Mega Man level, and then Mega Man goes through the door and it goes click, 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 and then Rob stop. shows up? Right. Oh my stop god, it. dude, like, how good would that be? Uh, oh, stop. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, can't. even based off of that, even based off of that, maybe they don't need something as grand as Subspace Emissary, but maybe even something closer to like what they did with uh, Smash Brothers Melee, where they had a single player campaign, but they had levels or yeah, these, these levels yes. based around elements from those games. Like you had the whole like Zelda Temple. Yes. There was the F Zero one where you're racing down the path, and yeah. then they're like, oh, yeah. like I would. That's something I that really would, cool. would love. I like. I don't really care if they don't bring back Subspace. But I would love for them to bring back Adventure Mode. I, that's something mm -hmm. people have been clamoring for, too, for a really long right. time. And I think that would be a cool single-player Switch-exclusive mode that they could add that wouldn't necessarily be too much work because they already have all the yeah. character models for all these people based on the trophies, and then also they have all the new characters added in. Like, an Adventure Mode where you're going through these levels. Oh, like I said, a classic Mega Man stage in Adventure Mode where you're playing as Mega Man, and you go and you go up against Rob like, oh! <laughs> that would be the coolest please. thing. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm in complete agreement with both of you in terms of the, the focus on single player, just because, I mean, I'll come out right out and say it, I, uh, Smash Wii U is easily my favorite Smash game for a myriad reasons, but, uh, and I said this back in my original review of it, it, it is by far, uh, other than Smash 64, the weakest entry in terms of single player content. It just mm. is. And and I really do think that this is the Switch version could do with some kind of compelling single player mode. If it's not a full subspace emissary type adventure than what we were saying, like the, the uh, melee version of adventure mode or something like that. But it really, that is the one really gaping weakness, I would say, in the overall package that it Smash Wii U. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not a huge deal, but right. it did feel like something was missing a little bit with uh, Smash 4 in that respect. Yeah. Um, I, I don't expect them to add that, but it'd be awesome if they did, and it would really help and make it help make it feel more like its own game versus, you know, an upgraded port. Um, well, now, speaking of adding upgrades here, I do think there's ways they could, or modes that get added to the game, to really also make this feel like more of a unique experience, while not really taking that much development time. And what I think would be awesome, and I know I've touched, I've touched on this before, I would love if they added like a true tag team mode. And it's something we kind of saw just a little bit in Smash 4 with the, um, uh, I guess Smash Tour, Smash in the Tour. final mode, yeah. where you had, you collect characters and you would switch between them, like each of them, each one of them was a stock. So when you, when you lost one, you would then revert to the next, or go to the next character. That was awesome! Make a mode like that! I am all like, about that. That'd be cool. That would all add, about it. I think it would add so much to the metagame if you chose characters depending on how they complement each other. So, you know, you had to decide when to take one in and out. Or, you know, in a stock-based system, like in Smash Tour, if you wanted to choose characters. Maybe you took a character you're stronger with to end on if that's your final stock. And I'm just going to throw this out there, but isn't that the perfect mode where you're switching characters for Super Smash Bros. Switch? Yeah, I think clan battles are an awesome idea. I think if that was, like, yeah. its own little thing, and you, you make a team of whatever tag team characters you'd want, and then your friend goes up against it, and you're switching between <laughs> them, that'd be amazing. I'd love that. So yeah, cool. Right. I'm so I'm 100% down idea. with that. That's, and that yeah. wouldn't take a lot of development time. You're right. That'd be cool. It would it, 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 it almost, I mean, yeah, and I think it would actually work here. Like, I'm guessing one of the limitations is probably RAM restrictions. Yeah. But now, you know, they're running basically the same game on the Switch, which, uh, you know, rumor has it, or at the very least, it's going to have considerably more RAM than the Wii U. That would be, that, that right there solves your problem. Mm -hmm. Like, that seems like a pretty no-brainer addition to me. Well, and let's say that you have to, you know, you have to cap it at five character teams or something. That's still really freaking cool. Like, even if you're not making 10 or 20 character teams, if you can make up to, like, you know, even three or five character teams, that's even cool enough. Even just two. Or two, I even guess, if yeah. It's just, even just a pair, I would be happy with that. If they go beyond that, that's that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's so much potential there. And even, like, going off of that a little bit, what if they had a, like, co-op tag team mode where, like, I play as one character, then if I get tired or I want to swap out, I take out, you go hop in after with your character, like, with your Mega Man. That would be awesome, yeah. That would be cool, <laughs> right? Oh, one minor thing I just thought of, and I, I'm going to forget if I don't bring this up now, is I really, really want them to add in the uh, Palutena's Temple conversations for the DLC characters, because it bothers the heck out of oh, me that's that a good there one. are yeah. conversations that are just blank when you use the DLC characters. Like, they're just like, who is that character? I've never seen that before. Like, I want them to go out and re-record that. I need to get that out because I knew I would forget it if I didn't say it now right you now. Wanna talk, now, you want to talk about things that end up on YouTube that are in the game. Why is that in the <laughs> right, game? Yeah. 
I, I was actually going to say the same thing, that I, I want the same thing. However, I want a twist on it. For the DLC characters, I don't want Palutena's guidance. I want Hades' guidance. Oh my goodness, yes. We need Hades back. Inject oh, Or in just veins. add Hades as a, as a full playable character. I don't care. But Hades needs to be in a game somehow, because he's like the best okay, that's, villain. That's actually a, a great point. <laughs> that, that kind of is like a glaring omission to some degree. Yeah, I think. Like, Hades, Hades needs, needs to be in this game. Yeah. yeah. We already have three Kid Icarus reps, though. I feel like maybe if they're if they're gonna add Hades, just get rid of Dark Pit, man. Like, make him a constant. <laughs> in a world where we have twenty Fire Emblem reps, I think we can. Yeah, we can have a four. I'm okay with having four Fire Emblem. Or, uh, sorry, if it means Kid Hades, Icarus I'd be cool with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, one thing I would like to see. Uh, I say this as somebody who really loves playing on almost every stage. Um, I don't really only play on Omega stages. I like hazards, but I want a boss toggle. Wily Castle deserves better than Yellow Devil, and Pirate Sphere mm. deserves better than Ridley. I want to be able to turn bosses off while maintaining platform layout, like in Wily's Castle. You, that's cool. I mean, you're absolutely right. I'm going to just build off of that. They they need to straight up add a hazard toggle for every stage. That's actually, that yeah. Would, that, I mean, that would, I, they were so, well, not that close. The, the concept of the uh, Final Destination stages, um, the Omega stages, that was so close, but that wasn't what anyone really wanted. Like, it's cool you have these different themed Final Destinations. What people want, though, is just a hazard toggle. Just turn off yeah. the random yeah. stuff in these stages. And I say this as one who generally likes those hazards, except for the bosses. Right. But there are times when I would love if there were these more neutral stages where you just... Like, some of those layouts are fan I mean, they are. Some of them are just truly great. But the hazards get in the way. Just turn those off. Yeah. I agree. I agree. <laughs> like, Yellow Devil utterly ruins Wily Castle. And it breaks my heart it does, because yeah. it's a Mega Man stage. I've been waiting for, right. you know, it's Mega Man. But I never play it unless it's on Omega. And that, then it's just you lose the platforms and it's a flat stage. And it's not fun. So, yeah, hazard or boss toggle or both. Like, I, I would really like to see that added. And, you know, for everything that PlayStation All-Stars did wrong, it did do that. There was yeah. a hazard toggle in PlayStation All Star, so it's not like it's unheard of. Yeah, we don't talk about that game though, so let's, <laughs> let's continue the conversation. No, the one thing yeah. I, I also want to say, I would love for them to bring back more on the topic of stages. Uh, I think the biggest omission in terms of bringing back classic stages, like when Sakurai announced this on the the 50 Facts Direct or whatever, I'm like, oh, you're bringing back N64 stages. Everybody thought the same thing. Finally, we're getting Saffron City making a return. The fact that right. Saffron City has still not come back to this game, I don't understand it. If you're gonna bring back any classic stages from older games, bring back Saffron City. That stage is so good. It was so unique feeling. I mean, ah, oh, that they, yeah. I, I, it, it is surprising it's not back. And you know, I would just love that they went back and brought back more past stages in general. Yeah. Uh, Malay has a ton of great stages that haven't been seen since. Fountain of Dreams. They keep bringing back Donkey Kong for some... What? Fountain, Fountain of Dreams. Dreams. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Brinstar there Depths even. I love Brinstar Depths. I know some people Brinstar... hate it with the spinning, but Ugh. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I hated it, but I mean, it's it's unique. So, uh, I would say um, uh, Foresight as well was a oh, fun yeah. one that hasn't been seen since, I don't think. Uh, Fount Fountain of Dreams for sure. Uh, Princess Peach's castle with the giant bullet bills coming in from the side. Oh, that's you know, I forgot about that. Like, yeah. like you know, melee. I don't typically miss all that much, but it did. It's weird because like I feel like most of the best melee stages went to the 3DS version, while the Wii U version really just kind of got jack all in terms of good melee stages. Yeah. So you know, and they brought back a ton of great brawl stages. So like, why? It's weird that they brought back that many brawl stages, which I thought had some pretty good stages but not Melee. And I feel like, I think a lot of us were expecting at least Fountain of Dreams as DLC, and that never really bore out. So I, I really think there's room for them to bring back a few Melee stages. Yeah. I actually, I want Melee Yoshi's story to come back too. I really, I love that stage. Mm -hmm. um, I'm shocked that that wasn't added as DLC because that's like a very competitive play Smash Brothers kind of like favorite stage. I'm shocked that didn't come back. Yeah. You know, right. One thing I would like to see is ha I'd like to see them uh, take all of the all of the brawl and melee stages in the 3DS version and just dump them wholesale into the Wii U version. So Corneria, Corneria especially, uh, Jungle Japes, you know, WarioWare uh, from Brawl, like all those stages that were in previous console games should be brought back for Wii mm. for the Switch version, straight up. And if not Corneria, give me Sector Z. Like we need a stage where we play on the Great Fox. Like that's not uh, Orbital Gate Assault. I like that stage but it's not quite what I'm looking for in terms of having a giant stage where you get to fight on top of the Great Fox, you know? Yeah. Um, well, speaking of stages, are there any other stages you guys have in mind that you would like to see potentially added? Again, we're getting into more, like, blue sky territory here, but I've had an idea for a stage for a while for a while now that I wish, or I probably even mentioned it before, but I feel like A Link to the Past has been uh, largely ignored by Smash Brothers, and I would love if they made a stage based on, like, the map screen of A Link to the Past, 
where you ride like a flying platform going visiting different regions of the world. They can even use the version of the world from um, uh, A Link Between Worlds. Like I think it'd be so cool to go on a world tour of Hyrule from A Link to the Past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be really I like cool. That. Um, cool. I would like to see a Kirby stage from a game that Sakurai did not work on. So not Superstar, <laughs> not Dreamland. <laughs> right. Like you know, Return to Dreamland or Epic Yarn or something. Or God, even Planet Robobot. Like uh, yeah, anything from the end of that game could make for an awesome stage. Like like the whole final battle. Like uh, you know, we have the Rainbow Road stage in 3DS. Take that idea, but just have like a a a Kirby uh, Planet Robobot stage taking place in space against the backdrop of the final battle with the final boss shooting things at you. I, I'm trying to avoid spoilers, Andre, because I know you haven't played it. So, uh, yeah, but something like that. If, if you played Planet Robobot, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think we're probably going to get a Breath of the Wild stage, and that's something that I want as well. Um, okay, yeah, you're right. I, I think, like, I forget big, the past. I want Breath of the, I want Breath of the yeah, Wild now. A big, yeah. massive, like, Hyrule Field type Breath of the Wild stage where you're just, like, soaring through the sky, kind of similar to Skyloft, but better because you're just on one platform, and it's, like, a nice, it's a nice, just battlefield type platform layout, but you're floating through the sky, looking through the new Hyrule Field from Breath of the Wild is playing, da 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 In the background, they have a character costume for Link. Please. Please. Yeah, I'm almost thinking they could make it uh, a layout similar to Mario Brothers 2 from Smash Brothers Melee, where you have like high mountains on either side and then like a low valley. Below. Well, we already have that. It's called Gower Plains. We already have yeah. the thing with the two. So I think it, it shouldn't be Gower Plains. It shouldn't be like a reskin of that. Yeah. But sure. uh, yeah. in terms of dream stages, this is something that there's not even a character from this game in Smash Brothers. But this is my all time dream stage. I don't know when I'm going to uh, get a chance to talk about it again. I want the APOC from Chrono Trigger. I want to be on the back of the ship as it's flying through time. That'd be awesome. In the 16-bit look, the classic oh, Super man. Nintendo look, playing the old 16-bit music, and you're seeing all the different worlds sort of transforming over the course of time. Only we're seeing it in HD, but it's all still in sprites. Oh, I want it God. so do that. badly. That's like my that'd be so good. That's my end-all, be-all dream smash stage. I've thought that since I was a little kid. I, I would love more than anything for them to add that. And they technically could because they already have licenses from Square to use Square characters to put in Smash. And I kind of feel like as much as I would love Chrono to be in the game, it would never happen um, just because he's not relevant anymore. But maybe a stage, right? I, one can hope. See, well, I, I, feel, well, I feel like if we got a stage, we'd be getting a character. I don't think one happens yeah. without the other. Well, I don't think, true. yeah. That's I mean, I, I think yeah. that would come along with Chrono as a playable character, which, well, completely unlikely and impossible. Yeah, exactly. I would yeah. be so <laughs> down with that and with that stage you're describing. I mean, God, I didn't, I didn't realize when we were talking pie in the sky, we really were talking pie in the sky. Oh, of course, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want, you want to talk pie in the sky and uh, characters that won't ever happen. Freaking Gino from Mario RPG. Oh, yeah. Right. That's right, that's right. That's also yeah. a good point, yeah. Oh, that would be so cool, a Chrono Trigger stage. God. That'd be amazing. I mean, it, God, if we're, if we're talking pie in the sky, then let's add Amaterasu and an Okami stage. Done. Oh. That, if, if I could choose one more Capcom character beyond Mega Man and Ryu, it would be Amaterasu. Actually, screw Ryu. Just replace Ryu with Amaterasu. I know it doesn't make sense. I'm just saying. <laughs> I want Ami and Smash. God, that'd be awesome. That'd be great. <laughs> All right, well, to bring things back down to Earth level a little bit more here, <laughs> um, I think one other thing that they really need to improve, like they need to, is the online experience. It is so lacking in Smash 4. For as, for as much of an improvement it is over Smash Brothers Brawl, and it is, it is still lacking in so many ways. Uh, like the fact that there's no way to play just a casual, like, you know, free for, or a, uh, for fun one-on-one -on -one battle. Yeah. Um, which would be great, mm. uh, especially because the lag in that game, in playing with three or four people, can be atrocious. And even when it's not atrocious, like, even the, the slight delay there that's often there is enough to make me not want to play it. Uh, so, I mean, I hope, I mean, I hope above all else they can fix the online and make it even better. Like, I think, um, with a Killer Instinct online, that works, from what I've heard, extremely smoothly, because I guess they're rendering the game at 120 frames per second, even though it's only displayed at 60 frames per huh. second. And huh. that, from what I hear, actually helps with leg online. Um, so I would love if they did something like that here, and just really focus on improving that and adding more online options in general. I think that's a safe expectation, too. I mean, we're dealing with a new hardware now, so that's pretty much a done deal, I think. I, I mean, so. this is Nintendo. Is it a safe expectation? I mean, it's not like the Wii U <laughs> couldn't handle a more robust, more fully featured online mode. Yeah. But it just didn't happen. And I, I just feel like it's not just the lag that's a problem, but more than that, it's just there's so much you can't do when playing online. Like, there, there's so many kinds of matches you can't set up. 
unless you're playing with friends. And I and I it's just so, it's so limiting. You can't just go online and play a stock match with items, for example, with with strangers. Like it has to be a two minute time match, either with items on or off. And you can't. There's really no wiggle room there. And it's incredibly limiting for people who want to play the game in a specific way, which runs directly counter to what Smash is all about anyway. I mean, being stuck with two minute matches in uh, in for fun is is just silly i think too, too many matches are typically too too short um, i'm not convinced that there's anyone out there who sits down with their friends and plays two minute time matches for fun <laughs> i'm not convinced you right? can't prove it to me i th i feel like three like three three is like a much better baseline than two right I don't well know. just that but also just the the nature of time matches where it's it's so easy to steal kills and such that you know just the oh, nature of how point. you win yeah. is so different in time matches i'm just not convinced that people sit down and say oh i don't want to play stock i want to play time who does that I mean, time's fine for one on one, sure. but yeah, anything but you get you have those issues as you mentioned. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, that's a great point. you guys, though, you're not playing the game right. It's all about coin match, man. It's all about <laughs> that's coin true. matches. <laughs> you know, I I will admit that occasionally when I remember it's there, my friends and I will go into it and play the occasional coin match, and we have a good time. It's stupid and it's like whatever, but it's actually fun. Well, I I wasn't being sarcastic. Oh, okay, good. I, okay. I thought you were. Being, no, 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 no. I love coin battle. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Nice. So do you guys have any final uh, expectations or predictions for Smash Switch, or are we done here? Um, no no more expectations or predictions, but one more wish. Okay. okay. Reduce the in lag on all of Mega Man Smashes, please. Please. <laughs> please, please, please you, make him less unsafe. You, you just want Mega Man to be OP. Obviously. Like, across the yeah. board. I, I mean, yeah. it would, yeah. I would actually say, yeah, buff Game & Watch, so he's the best character in the game. <laughs> Nice. Well, actually, I mean, actually, that reminds me. Are there are there any other balancing changes or gameplay tweaks you want to see to this game beyond what they've done uh, in the updates? I, I would say that it's it's pretty incredible how great a job Sakurai and his team have done balancing such a, a massive roster. I mean, this is the best balanced Smash game by far since '64, and it has 60 characters. Like, I don't know how they did it, and obviously the balance isn't perfect, but it's far better than it was in Brawl and Melee. Yeah. And so I feel like that they've gotten the roster to a pretty good level of balance. It can always be improved, but I'm trying to think of any glaring... I think really what needs to happen are some of the weaker characters need to be brought up to parity. Yeah. Not, not so much nerfs, but I think characters like Zelda and King DDD and Mr. Game & Watch, for example, they need to be made better so they can compete more easily with the rest of the cast. I don't think anyone's too crazy OP, though. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. I think nerfing is the wrong way to go about it now because we already have, like... 10 or 15 characters that are competitively viable that you can win tournaments with. So yeah. I think the best the best way to go about it, like you said already, is to buff characters that are bad and then uh, have even more competitively viable characters. Yeah, it'd be great. Uh, one more thing. Speaking of moves, I guess, kind of, uh, do you think they should do anything with the custom moves? Like, do you think they should build upon it, expand it? Just let that die, uh, Make it so they're all available from the get-go, or just drop it completely? Let it die. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say. I mean, I, like, I on principle, I say let it die, but it's hard to say how many people out there, or how many people are out there who don't give a crap about, you know, the, the tournament competitive aspect of Smash Brothers and just love playing with custom special moves just casually. It's hard to say how many people love it. I'm going to counter that. Is is there anyone? Just because you have to unlock? Oh, I'm sure there's someone. But I mean, yeah. how many people really? Because you have to unlock all of them. No, I that's true. Like yeah. If you didn't have to unlock them, then I do think there that may be more the case. Absolutely. But the fact that you had to unlock them really limited its appeal. I've only yeah, seen one person point. on my Twitter feed who's unlocked the challenge wall thing where you unlock all of the custom moves. One person. <laughs> nice. And oh, mind wow. you, half of the people I follow on Twitter are competitive Smash, Smash Brothers players. Yeah. So... <laughs> That right there should tell you. I, I would say either let it die, or if they're going to do it, go all in and just have every character's custom moves unlocked from the start so you can customize them from the beginning. You don't have to unlock a million different moves. And also add in customs for the DLC characters. Like, either go all in or just let it die. Yeah, I mean, that's. I guess that's kind of where I'm coming from. Like, it kind of felt half complete already because some yeah. characters got really cool new moves, but most of them didn't. They've got, like, mild modifications. Um, you know, I, I, I have one more thing, actually. This kind of reminds me of something. I wish for Smash Switch, which they will never do, if they went back and completely retooled Palutena and used some oh, of her moves too. from that. Yeah, I feel like she was a complete missed opportunity. She already has much better moves that seem more fitting for her and are more unique in her uh, custom move sets than she actually has by default. They could not have picked out of all the, the all, out of all the specials she yeah. has to choose from, they could not have picked a more she's boring two set. Yep. She's two counters. Like what the heck yeah. is that about? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really, I don't understand why. I mean, do enough characters not already have counters as their downbeat? Right. Like, why? Of, of all the things yep. she can do, why would that be her default moveset? I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be, that, that's what my one wish. And uh, funnily enough, that's probably one of the least, least, least uh, potential of happening right. of all the ones I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, Roger, where can people find you at? So people can find me at Roger's Base on YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, and on Instagram. I'm pulling a Josh. All right. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explain. You can find links to them in the description below. It's a good way to keep up to date on everything we post. And of course, stay tuned to Game Explain for more on Super Smash Brothers Switch and really everything Switch and other things gaming as well. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs>